So hello, my name is Bruno Mesnay, I'm from the CAPI team and uh, working on enablement. So that was uh, a quite good experience and our first experience porting uh, some application to, to, to Snap. Uh, one day a sales guy in France asked me to, uh, to do porting. We had a, a meeting scheduled with a French customer three weeks after and the customer told us, hey, here's a program, uh, show me what you can do with that on AFPG. So this customer knew that porting a program on an FPJ in three weeks is nearly impossible or, or very challenging, I would say. A customer, having read about CapiSnap, approached IBM about the variability of a sharp 3 algorithm on a FPJ. The customer had C code of a sponge, or Kachek algorithm, which is a specialized version of a sharp 3 encryption. After receiving the request, our team ported the C code to CapiSnap in just three days. After a mere 11 days, we had a fully optimized version running. We took the results back to a very impressed customer soon after that. In two days, we were able to compile it without any big modification in it. And uh, this means that we had a VHDL code. VHDL is the assembler language for FPJ. Then we took a week to optimize, tune things, parameters, to get more and more performance. We show here an excerpt of the Ketchak algorithm in C. The original code, without the yellow highlight box additions, is what we fed into the SNAP and Zynings Vivadado tool, set at the early stages. The yellow boxes highlight the slight modifications we made for performance by the end of the 11 days. But as you can see, the code snippet remains very readable to a programmer. There were three yellow box changes we made. The first was to separate the input buffers from the output buffers, so the FPGA didn't have to write to the same location it was reading. The other two changes for unroll and pipeline allow the compiler to perform parallel operations on code segments. With unroll, we make parallel instances of a code segment whose result don't affect the next iteration, which is a common case on loops. And the pipeline function allows portion of code to begin an operation before the previous iterations complete. The results were outstanding. In less than two weeks, with minimal changes to the original source code, we had the CapiSnap implementation of the Ketchak algorithm running 35 times faster than the processor version. That's not comparing the FPGA to a single thread of processing. We obtained the 35 times speed up compared to 20 cores running a total of 160 threads. This performance improvement was consistent across all sets of parameters we fed into the engines. You'll note that the chart shows two sets of FPGA results, a 16 slice version and a 32 slice version. This is an indication of the number of parallel pipelines we were able to fit into the FPGA. The 16 slide version takes up less space on the FPGA and was quite simple to implement. Getting the 32 slice version to place, root and time was a little more challenging. Of course, if we used a larger FPGA, we could fit even more parallel instances leading to even higher performance. You'll note how well the model scales from 16 to 32. The performance doubles once the number of elements go beyond 32.